Okay, we are still in the com science, all right, your topic, and we are still in the tools complement. But this time we want to uh, convert our tools complement to a base 10, which is basically our normal number that we use every day. So now you are presented with a question, let's say in your test or your examination and you are given this string of bits okay one zero one zero zero one one zero and you are told that this is actually in tools complement encoding all right so the first thing you need to ask yourself is all right is this a positive number or a negative number if it's a positive number I don't have to do any tools complement and I will just convert it to a base 10 if it is a positive number. But if it is a negative number, then I have to do a tools complement first, all right? then only I can convert it to a base 10. So being having to identify whether it is a positive number or not, uh, you have to look at the first bit which is the most significant bit over here, okay? Now, if this bit here is a zero, then it is a positive number. And if it's a positive number, okay, just take it, change it to base 10. All right, no need to do any tools complement. But it, if it's a one, like this question over here, it is a one, then it is a negative number. So if it's a negative number, well, I have to do a tools complement first, then only change it to base 10, okay? So in this question, I see a one over here. Therefore, I know it's a negative number. So my first step is I need to change it to a tools complement. So I need to perform a tools complement of this string of binary digits. The Tools complement rules, all right, uh, already indicate. Okay, you can use a shortcut method if you want to, but uh, I will just use the traditional approach so that I don't confuse any new student. Okay, uh, the tools complement rules indicate that you have to flip. All zero must become one, or one must become zero. Okay, then add a one bit to the answer to get the tools complement. So very simple. On the top, I have all my strings. Okay, so this is a one, change it to zero. This is a zero, change it to one. See, one change to zero, zero change to one. Okay, zero change to one. One change to zero, one change to zero, zero change to one. Okay, so I flip. So any zero change to one, any one change to zero. So you basically reverse it. Then I plus one. So one and one, okay, is two. So it's a zero and one. Okay, so and then there's a one and zero, there's a one. Okay, then all these are zero down here. So uh, zero, then I have a one, then a one, and a zero, and a one, and a zero. Okay. So now I have my tools complement. So the tool complement is just flip it. All right, zero change to one, one change to zero. Then do or uh, add one to your answer. Then you will achieve your tools complement. Now I already have my tools complement here. All right. So if I want to convert it to base 10, then what do I do? Well, the easiest method that I can think of that I use very often is just to put it into a table all right, that we use all the time. So 2 power n, all right, so 2 power 0, okay, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, and so forth. And you will get your 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 1, 2, 8. So everyone is a double of the or uh, next is a double, is a double, and a double, and a double. Then I put the st uh, string of binary digit in here. All right, so this is the uh, tools complement answer that I'll obtain. 
and I just look for all the ones. So I will have a 64 plus a 16 plus an 8 and plus a 2. So 64, all right, plus 16, all right, plus 8 plus 2, I will get 90, 90. But remember, originally the question, the first bit is actually a 1, which already indicate that it's a negative. All right. So it is not just a 90, but it is a negative 90. That is why I need to put a negative symbol there, because the original string has a 1 bit in the most significant place. It start off with a 1 bit, so it will have to be a negative number. So it's a negative 90. All right. So that is your final answer.